TEPCO just came out with this article about how they're going to save the ocean by dumping more radiation into it. So I just wanted you to check it out. It's strictly from the TEPCO website. The sub drain and groundwater drain operations set to begin at Fukushima Daiichi should lead to further protection of the ocean. Water will be pumped up, treated, tested, and discharged. So they might remove a little bit of the isotopes or they'll just add more water and dilute it. With the strictest water quality standards maintained throughout steady operations of water treatment facilities. Look, they tried the ALP system and it broke down. They said they're experimenting with new filter system, but they cannot remove tritium, that's for sure. H3O. The sub drain and groundwater drain systems at Fukushima Daiichi Nuclear Power Station which will intercept groundwater from flowing into the reactor buildings or the port area and as a result further protect the ocean will be activated after many years of preparation. TEPCO expects that the first pumping up of the groundwater by the subdrain system will take place on tomorrow, September 3rd. This water is going to be highly contaminated, uh, had direct contact with the coriums. The water will be temporarily stored to check its quality and then discharge into the port area with thorough treatment processes. Totally unbelievable that they would dump this water into the ocean when they should be making more containers and pushing those containers farther away from the ocean would be the same thing to do. When you already know that Fukushima has already let way too many isotopes already into the ocean and increased it everybody's background in the northern hemisphere. The water through the sub drain and groundwater drain is expected to be slightly more contaminated than water from the groundwater bypass at the time it's pumped out of the ground. However, the water will be treated to meet the most stringent quality standards for sub drain and groundwater drain than for the groundwater bypass. It also will be monitored more frequently. So we're going to keep checking it for you. Yeah, it's bad every time it comes out. So that water quality of subdrain and groundwater drain is verified for discharging. The upper limit of radioactive concentration for subdrain and groundwater drain, CCM-134, 1 becquerel per liter, CCM-137, 1 becquerel per liter, gross 3 becquerel liter, Tritium, 1,500 becquerels per liter. Stop dumping into the ocean. Abe. The volume of water entering the reactor basements where it became contaminated by mixing with the existing contaminated water is expected to drop to 150 cubic meters a day from the current 300 cubic meters daily. In the long term, the pumping systems and seaside wall are expected to be joined with the landside impurable wall, frozen soil wall. Okay, here we go again. They're still trying to freeze the soil. Trying to freeze the soil at Fukushima when the radiation can be as hot as 4,000 degrees. I mean, that's literally like trying to put a band-aid on a bullet wound.
for more information on the seaside impermeable wall. Oh, I'm sure it's <laughs> impermeable wall. From the reports that I've seen regarding the ice wall, it's just a slushy. They cannot get it to get cold enough to even make any type of wall. Slushy wall. Can't even call that a wall. Purple slushy. <laughs>